New Bishop and I, because these are the, uh, the millennials and they are very flexible. And so, wonderful men and women, products of great faith and mission, a sense of mission. So I congratulate you, Bishop Obonyo and Mama, and the congregation. We have even seen that Kano Rasanga, I think when last we came here, Kano Rasanga was with us. Great testimony that you prayed for him, you really helped him in so many ways, became governor, CIA. And he did his 10 years. So when we come, like we have come today, we come with great humility. And we know right now, there are lots of doubts in the minds of Kenyans as a result of what happened at Shakahola. Kenyans are asking simple questions. Is it true? Is it that there are men and women misusing the name of God? Is it cults or what? I want to remind you, when you came to house number 100 Southland, you really know me. By the way, I bring your greetings from my wife Pauline. Continue to pray for her. So that again, God will heal her in, in his time. It was then, I think I was deputy speaker of the National Assembly. And uh, no, I think either that or I was practicing law from my offices in Church House uh, near the former American embassy opposite there. And, and I was also doing work with the Scripture Union. Um, and I registered Redeemed Gospel Church. Since you are sent by Archbishop Kitonga, you must have been bringing those papers so that I registered Redeemed Gospel Church. I'm happy that I did not register a cult. Please give me a clap. <laughs> I also registered Crisco. When I saw Apostle Das, and he came in with a friend who looked like from Guyana, I remembered the story of Jim Jones, uh, a person who led a cult and got people to drink poison, and they died. Pretty much like Shakahola. We must ask ourselves these basic questions. Mama Aida Odinga asked a question. Now she said, don't you think we need to regulate? Now that time I think has come. And I want to challenge the church, the mainland church, to be able to do something about not hindering the freedom of worship. Because that you can't. It is written in our constitution. You cannot. And so I want to tell you that even those cults, so to, so to speak, if they are worshipping, you may find it difficult to stop them. But one thing, the government is not a cult. We have police, uh, uh, instead of chasing uh, Wandai and us, uh, issuing uh, uh, instructions. And I'm going to comment on that, unfortunately, because we're all the same bishop. So I'd rather we pour it before you. To kitoka hapa uombe okijua, hawa kina mother na kalonzo na kioni na kina wandai ni watu sampligani. Because our hearts are hurting, and not just us, all Kenyans. So, you ask yourselves in Kilifi, where this thing happened, there is a chief, assistant chief, na, of course, intelligence, the whole government network. I don't think it is enough my learned junior brother, Kindiki, to just have gone there and said, I'm changing. There's something basically wrong. This has taken a very long time to happen. It did not just happen. So somehow, as Wandai was quoted today saying, if in a functioning government, this cannot happen. So that we don't up and end up saying a cult. A cult, uh, somebody worshipping God upside down, is guaranteed under the constitution, but they are not allowed to take lives. They are not allowed to take lives. Because that becomes uh, something else. So I just wanted to comment to that extent. Uh, on what has clearly been happening and we wish you well may your next 20 years bring with them tremendous soul harvesting and growth uh, mother blessed your office you said oh forgive my small office and she said utabarikiwa mpaka ushangai this congregation will grow we may not come every day as you said every Sunday but once in a year we can come you notice when I came, I said, hey, Bishop, 
next time we come we want to worship not under the tent but in there in God's name so the next 20 years if our lord tarries yeah na vile askofu kutoka Tanzania alihubiri mimi ni furahi sana yani watu wanapatwa na shida mpaka mtu anasema Yesu kuja na kuja wewe mwenyewe usitume <laughs> there are songs to that effect usitume mtu kuja wewe mwenyewe 